Ninja Monkey! My name is Nerdy Guna. Today, we've got quite a few news stories to go through once again. First off, we're going to start with Halo 3 ODST. Halo ODST took you away from the Master Chief, and I believe it was set during the events of Halo 3 on New Mombasa. You actually play as a shock trooper. I believe you're on the other side to where you land as the Master Chief in that game, and you kind of fight your way through New Mombasa. It's not a bad little game, quite a short one, but it's not a bad little game. It also has a co-op wave-based mode called Firefight, which is really quite fun, but that is now available on the Microsoft Store and on the Steam Store. So if you're into your Halo, I definitely recommend picking that up. For all of you awaiting Cyberpunk 2077, Patrick K. Mills, the lead graphical designer, has said that Cyberpunk will be shorter than The Witcher Free's main story. What this means exactly, he didn't give exact figures, but I believe personally it will say it says to me that Cyberpunk is going to be around about the hundred hour mark to complete as a game. That's that's just the main story. So whether there's it's going to be similar to things like The Witcher, two things like Skyrim, where there is a lot of side quests to keep you going, I'm not hundred percent certain. The way he worded it was that it is the main story is going to be shorter than the Witcher Freeze main story. So I'm looking at about 100 hours for the main story. FIFA fans, are you out there? Are you listening? I'm so sorry. EA have decided that they're cancelling the FIFA 21 demo. I know that's probably not the biggest deal in the world because it is just a demo. But sometimes it's just kind of nice to get your hands on the game just before. But EA have cancelled it because they want to focus on delivering the best game experience possible from the beginning. If you're subscribed to EA Play, the trial will still be available from October the 1st. And the full release is October the 9th. So look forward to that, all you football fans. Next up, Warzone fans. I know you're out there. I know you're all around. So Warzone, this weekend, from Friday until Season 6, drops. You go be getting double XP. Double XP across the board. They are also going to be adding Mini Royale and bringing back trios. So the Mini Royale obviously greatly reduces the size of Verdansk, making it much more tight, much more compact. So that should be fun, especially for players who maybe feel that the map is too big. I don't think there's a lot of players out there, but it will make for much more faster gunfights, much more faster games, I suppose. And it'll be just, I think, fun for everyone. Console fans, I know what you're thinking. You're playing on console, you're watching your best streamers, your favourite streamers. You're watching your Ninja Monkey streamers, and we're all playing among us. And you're thinking to yourself, I wish I had a PC to play that. Well, have no fear, because they are working on the console version of Among Us. They are having some troubles. So with the way that there is communication done within Among Us to talk uh, after someone is found dead, or to call an emergency meeting and discuss who is the imposter and, and so on, they are trying to work out whether they can implement a way to do quick communications, similar to how Rocket League do it with the quick press of good game, unlucky, that kind of thing. They are working on it, so that is semi-good news, at least for your console players. But of course, the game news of the week, the one that I'm sure you guys have actually been waiting for. Bethesda has been bought out by Microsoft. Yes, it is true. It isn't a fantasy. It isn't a dream. Bethesda have been bought out by Microsoft. So Phil Spencer has come out. He is the head of Xbox. And he is... It, it's strange because Bethesda are a studio. Bethesda Game Studios are one studio. Zenimax is a slightly different side to the same studio, but it, it still falls under the Bethesda banner. Now, Phil Spencer has said he plans to leave Zenimax alone. Now, this says to me that they are not leaving the Bethesda side alone. That that weird quote to say they plan to leave Zenimax alone doesn't fill me with the most confidence on the Bethesda side. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how that part of it pans out. Maybe that's just Phil Spencer just trying to be a bit cryptic because he, he does have a way with words of making things seem over the top to what they need to be. They have, of course, said that Elder Scrolls Online will not change across the board. It will not change. Their commitments to that will stay the same. They will work on it exactly the same way. There will be no stopping of the service to PlayStation or PC or anyone else. It will go similar to how uh, Minecraft has gone. 
they're just going to let it carry on as it is and they're happy with that they're also strangely going to honor their commitments to the ps5 timed exclusives which is Deathloop and ghostwire tokyo now this is strange i'm no they obviously have the commitments they they'd obviously they've obviously got the money from sony which is fine it is a timed exclusive they do have a deal but sometimes with acquisition takeovers like this deals like that kind of get nullified there's usually a clause in the contract somewhere but obviously this time maybe there wasn't or maybe maybe xbox are actually thinking about it logically maybe microsoft are thinking that actually they can make money off of a ps5 times exclusive and then bring it out on the xbox and pc a year later and make more money again the other bit of news is any future games that are made by bethesda will be on the game pass from day one so that is brilliant news for you people who have game pass you're gonna have the next the next Elder Scrolls, for instance, is going to be there on the Game Pass on day one, you lucky, lucky people. But for now, thank you for watching. Playing now should be the trailer. It's a mod. It's a recreation of Fallout 4, and it's recreated to be like Miami. This has been worked on by a outside team. It's not been worked on by Bethesda. I just thought I'd show you this because of the big Bethesda news. I think it looks awesome. When it is released any of you pc guys i think you should check this out it's gonna be it's, it looks so much fun and if you like the video don't forget to comment like subscribe hit that bell for more notifications and we will see you next week ninja monkey